What's up everybody? Lucas here coming to you guys with yet another backflip video. I'm serious because you can never have too many backflip videos. There's tons of people out there still afraid of the backflip. If you are afraid of doing just a straight standing backflip, right? You might have tried the round off backflip, but then you did the round off and you're just like, oh my goodness, you know what I mean? And once you hit here, you're, you're like, no. It can be a completely scary approaching a backflip from such an aggressive approach. But you're like, yo, I need the momentum, but I'm too afraid to do it, you know, like blah, 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 blah. Well, that's okay because today I have this like, I wanna say hack, but it's not a hack, it's a move. And an approach that can help you learn the backflip slowly. You can go over the side at first and you can slowly turn it more and more backwards until you got a backflip. In my opinion, this is the easiest way to learn the backflip from a momentum approach. But you gotta focus. First things first, you're gonna wanna pick a side that you're more comfortable jumping over. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the hack flip, all right? I'm talking about going over to the side. So if you're ever thinking about cheat gainering, you know, off your left foot, or corking off your left foot, or doing a hack flip over the left side, if you tried to learn the back flip before, or if you're just comfortable going like that, rather than like this, then you're gonna wanna use your left arm for this move. If it's, you know, if you're comfortable going over the right, if you wanna go around this way, spinning that way, Use your right arm. All you gotta do is you're facing where you're gonna do your backflip, right? Now, I like to turn my body a little bit like this, okay? Then you're gonna put your hand down on the ground and you're gonna face it away from where your body's facing, okay? So if I'm coming at it this way, I'm gonna have my hand over here because watch this. When we do go into this, we're gonna wrap around and we're gonna come over here like that. Hand, boom. I'm facing backwards. It's even more jank than a scoot, all right? This is like, a, it's like a, a combination of a cartwheel and a scoot. Maybe there's a trick or name for it, you guys let me know, okay? But hand goes down to the side, throw my body around like that. Instead of throwing that foot in, I just throw my whole body around, boom. And it generates a lot of momentum. So that's what we need to practice at first. If you're still struggling with this, you can honestly think of it like a like a wheel cartwheel, okay? A wheel cartwheel because a gymnastics cartwheel, you know, you, you approach it like this and, and then you end up facing this way, but the wheel cartwheel, you just wheel. You see, I'm a freaking wheel. You can approach it like that, but with one hand. Boom. Let me slow that down for you guys. Key with this is when I go into it, my hand's down, hand goes first down, then I throw my hips up and over and I swing my body around. And I can use my other arm to help generate the power, like this. Boom, like that, from this angle. So check it out, it's so easy, guys. Facing a little bit this way, arms out like this. Over, up. Now, learning the makaku, so you can tie these two things together. Feet out like this, squat down, crab walk position, okay? But you're gonna have that hand that you do that hack scoot with facing inwards that way, okay? Because, watch, I'm gonna walk around, and I'm here. Do you see that? And then instead of walking around, you wanna work on throwing your momentum up and over. Throw your opposite arm over and thrust your hips up in the air. Push over. When you get more comfortable with that, go down, thrust up over. The momentum you generate from this hack scoot makes the makaku so easy to just send right over. You'll be able to turn this into a backflip in no time if you just learn these two moves. Approaching it now combined. Like this, hand out, down, up, makaku back. Okay, at first it might be a little choppy, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna generate more and more momentum from that hack scoot and you're gonna, you're gonna wanna send backwards and start flying over backwards. Just go a little bit faster. And the beautiful part about this is you don't need to just, you don't need to just go bam at first. You can go way over to the side. Just really milk it at first, all right? All you gotta do now, man, is you keep approaching this and you keep leaning more and more over that shoulder, leaning more backwards, you can put your hand down until you start to feel like your hand's getting really light on that ground. Then maybe you could throw one where you don't put your hand down or where you just skim the ground. I'm telling you, man, you're gonna be like, I'm not scared anymore. I'm telling you, it's gonna come so easy. You're gonna, you're gonna freak. Then you just, you lean back more and more until you can go totally upside down. Getting over the backflip fear, using this method, in my opinion, as of right now is probably honestly the easiest way to do so because you get momentum so you don't have to worry so much about like oh am i gonna am i gonna jump high enough but it's not as scary as a round off because you're like spotting kind of over the ground the whole time and 
you don't have to go completely backwards your first couple of tries. You can do like a makaku and get a good, nice momentum swing out of the makaku. And then you can just, oh, you know, it's a heck of the year. All right, I'm way too enthusiastic about, about this, you know. I swear this is, this is absolutely perfect for you guys who are just coming back to doing maybe your first backflip of the year. Maybe you did one last summer and you're like, ha, I'm good. And you waited all winter. Now you're like, oh crap. I'm too afraid to do one now. Well, this is a great way to get back into it slowly, in my opinion. So you just keep working on that. The hoot to Makaku. Hoot, hack, scoot. Heh, <laughs> that's clever. <laughs> keep throwing it over. You, you can go from more of horizontal, putting your arm down, to throwing it more into more of a hack flip, into, into a back flip, yo. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys are still having trouble with the back flip, I have so many videos on the back flip, all right? I have a back flip playlist. Check that out if you're interested. With that being said, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming out, all right? More flip videos coming out, more trick videos coming out, weird skits coming out, skits every Sunday. So if you guys are into my strange skits, thank you thank you for putting up with me if you aren't. But if you are, uh, yeah, I got another one coming out Sunday and every Sunday there on after. <laughs> it is what it is, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.